Hello and welcome to Alex Cooks, the number one cooking show of YouTube. Now, what will we be cooking today? Well, we shall be cooking. Well, something I've been wanting to try for a very long time, but I haven't gotten around to doing until now. And this is meat to loaf with a tomato sauce topping. Now. Let's get to our ingredients, we're just going to go with Vance over here. And what we shall need for the meatloaf with a tomato sauce topping is... One kilogram of minced beef. One onion, finely chopped. Two eggs. 75 grams of porridge oats. One... Oh, I'll just get the one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. A singular clove of garlic crushed. Half a cup of tomato sauce, and this is actual tomato ketchup, by the way. I mean, I thought it meant um, puree, but I was wrong. Okay, and salt, which is somewhere around here, and pepper. Now, for the glaze topping, yes, even though it says tomato sauce topping, um, another quarter cup of ketchup, one quarter cup of brown sugar, and two teaspoons of mustard. Now, I think that's pretty cool. I shall see you when we get cooking. Okay, so to begin with, we have actually preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or a gas mark 4. Now, what, we are also, what we've also done is we also greased the uh, loaf tin where the meat loaf shall be put into. And yeah, so mate, what we have to do first is that we're going to uh, cut, cut out, crush, well, not crush out onions, cut the onions and crush the garlic. Let's start with the onion, shall we? Okay, so you can see the onions have been chopped very nicely and finely. And our next step is to crush the garlic in the garlic crusher. Like this contraption I did. Just like if you want to see some wonderful garlic paste coming out. There we go. And here comes ga garlic number two. There we go. You just got to cut the rest out, out with a knife. It's wonderful, don't you think? Wonderful. Now we are going to immediately conglomerate all of our ingredients into one bowl. Let's add the dry, the relatively dry things first. Um, might need something to. One onion patty. Two onion patties and the garlic. There we go, that should do. Um, Worcestershire sauce. Oh, that's a wonderful noise. Oh my gosh, I could listen to that all day. I want, there must there should be some kind of genre of YouTube video where you can just listen to people making noises and it relaxes you. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, then the oats. Yep, we're all going in together, boys. Um, and then our ketchup. Oh, that was that went in easier than I thought it would. Although it kind of looks like a murder cup. Is that such? Is there such a thing as a murder cup? There should be. No, no, no there shouldn't be a murder cup. No. Okay, I think that's enough of the murder cup. Um, and then in goes the uh, whole crumbs. And then in goes the eggs. Wunderbar. Right. And next is the beef. Uh, just peel off the paper. There we go. Just stick you there. And wadge number two. Peel off the paper. Stick you there. Now. I shall be back in a second. I need to go clean my hands for all the beef juice. 
and then I'll start with the mix. Mixing. Now, before we actually start mixing this, we shall now be uh, adding in the seasoning. Okay, that's enough of that. And instead of the usual salt, we decided to experiment with Himalayan with salt from the Himalayas. Yes. Okay, that should do. So now it's been seasoned. Now I shall mix it together with our hands until it is, you know, just combined. Now, uh, uh, we've actually conglomerated all of the uh, the beef, and that's the basic meat loaf. What we shall now proceed to do is we're going to mix together the sauce. So we've got a quarter cup of sugar, brown sugar in there, a quarter cup of ketchup, therefore creating Murder Cup Junior, I might like to add. We're going to use a spoon to screw the rest of this in. Okay, so the murder spoon is just a messy spoon now. Um, two tea teaspoons of mustard. I hope we have enough in there. That's enough. Well, I think we got enough on just that one spoon. I mean, wonder that. Now we shall actually use the murder spoon to mix together the uh, the mixture that shall go on top. Oh wow! Do you like the ketchup? -y? mustard mixture not when it's got brown, it's brown sugar mixed in but you know oh wow that looks looks beautiful boy I cannot wait to try it okay so in Chanel, we have actually now placed the meat into the loaf tin uh, we did actually notice that there was a bit too uh, little much to be so we tried to make a patty over here and um, uh, okay uh, so what sorry what we're going to do is we're going to pour the sauce onto the burger I mean onto the loaf um, okay now I shall now apply the uh, the meatloaf sauce <laughs> I've got what it's actually called uh, onto the top of the meatloaf there we go, uh, just grape out another one, there we go, okay, without any further procrastination, let's spread this sauce, spread the sauce, spread the sauce, sounds like something you do at a university hazing, like, spread the sauce, spread the sauce, okay, and I think that is enough sauce spreading, <laughs> That sounds like that sounds like a a gossip slang. Uh, oh, let's spread some sauce, Gladys. You know. Anyway, um, without any further procrastination, I'll just take that on the board there. We shall now stick this plus the patty into the oven for I uh, for, for between one and a quarter hours to so one and a half hours. Okay, so now it's been an hour and a quarter. The meatloaf is now out of the oven. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit burnt. So I would recommend lowering the uh, heat by about 10 degrees instead of having it at 180, have it at 170. Now I shall leave this meatloaf to cool and we shall actually uh, cook some vegetables to go alongside it. And then we shall have it for the taste test. Okay, well now, this is all ready. The loaf here, it's ready for consumption. And um, let's give it a taste test. We put a bit of gravy on there, a bit of veg gravy. Let's give it a bit of a ch go. Hmm. Well, we're not sure how to describe the flavour. It's like it's sweet but meaty at the same time, you know. So, I guess is this is what they mean by sweet meats. Yeah, so um, yeah, this is a all right. It's a good dish. It's very acceptable. I love it. Very good. Anyway, 
If you like this video, do be sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this on your Facebook, Twitter and other social media. Also, do be sure to follow my social media on my Instagram, Facebook and blog. I shall see you in the next video.